Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Rising. I'm Alexander Frost, your host, and we are closing in on the end of the game. By defeating Sundowner and taking World Marshal HQ, we are now over the halfway hump. We are in the home stretch, my friends. There is literally only three chapters left, and all of them are remarkably short. And on the last episode, we got a new body type. In addition to the mariachi uniform, which I will not be using for this let's play, or for this run, we also got the Desperado version of, Cyborg, of Raiden's cyborg body, which is kind of cool. It doesn't actually add anything to it. Just like the mariachi uniform, it, it's just an outfit. And I'm not going to waste what precious few points I have on it. We did, however, get another upgrade for my sword. My sword, his sword. Another strength upgrade, which we desperately need. In addition, we also need more absorption. And less fuel cell consumption, because that will definitely help when going into uh, uh, Ripper mode. Save the BP I have, however. Go ahead and see, do I have enough to get... I have enough to get the life endurance. I need life more than anything, so... There we go. I could grind to get the rest of the points I need, but I really don't need to worry about that right now. I'm not going to be at 200% whenever I fight the final fight. And that's okay. I'll make do with what I have. So, I do believe we are ready. So let's move on to Chapter 5. Or is it 6? No, it's 5. 5. Chapter 5. Set to go, sir. Excellent. Commencing takeoff in semi auto mode. You know, this kind of space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. Amazing. The Earth is the cradle of humanity, but mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ-320s. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. Missiles incoming! EMP? Yes, but not strong enough to take out the drone. Nice flight. And people say Germans aren't funny.
my friend. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. That was quite the fall, Raiden. I'm glad to see that you are alright. It's time you got out of Denver. I got him. Oh crap. Yeah, she's not the trainer anymore. I'm actually hard to get. I'm gonna fuck with this nigga. Alright, enough of that. Are you all right? I can handle this. You just get those brains out of here. And what will you do? Get out of here and to the launch site. Ah, the young ladies' company, yeah? How fortunate they are in Colorado, too. Yeah. Shouldn't take more than two hours with a set of wheels. Guess I'll just have to borrow some. A lot of cars got abandoned when the evac order came down. But won't the roads be blocked? If you are struck by one of those missiles, or... I know. Let me just worry about putting some distance between me and World Marshal, and what's left of it. Yeah. Ironically, I managed to land in the front door, you know, where I ended up fighting... Freaking... <laughs> no, I didn't. We're a little close to it. Front door? No. Well, anyway, we're retreading old ground, that's basically what they're saying. And I'm eager to... No! No, 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 no. Okay, I, well, I was trying to avoid that, but, well... Hey, you will be... no. Press button. No, 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 wait, yes, maybe. Jamming grenades to see if these help. I'm willing to bet no, but well, now's a good time to need to find out. Wait, that's a jamming grenade. Isn't it? Well, I don't think that's gonna help either. It does give me the opportunity to run away. Fine. I would rather fight these guys. By running around here, they'll end up dropping down to get at me, so it's a good idea to run around the edge of the perimeter first, then go after these guys. Alright. Everyone should be down. Now I can get on. Oh! Heavy cyborg with an arm. You hitting me actually saved my life. Thank you. Good.
Right it. Hurry. It may be an RLV, but it still needs time to accelerate and decelerate from first cosmic velocity. It could require more than 30 minutes to get to Pakistan. No hacky flashy flights. Let's do this. Quick, easy. The guy over there shooting me is just one of them. Because this is going to bother me. Actually, I need that. I don't know if there's a way to get past it. You're supposed to be able to get past these guys in a stealthy manner somehow. I don't know what it is. At this point, I don't really care. Trigger everyone? Is everyone here? Good. Oh, shit. Yeah, I know I got caught with that. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine. This, go to Ripper mode, destroy that raptor, move on. Yeah, destroy that raptor and move on. Damn it! Come on! Or, you know, completely take everything from me. Had to make this difficult. Couldn't let me have my. And now you're both legless. Who's oh, left? You? Now, I mentioned it several episodes ago, but... Um, see where that curve right there is? Up there was supposed to be some save data, or some uh, the data storage unit, but I ended up missing it. But yeah, you can uh, get it by going up here. But I missed it. My, my bad. Now down here is your final opportunity to save a civilian hostage. I don't particularly care to do that today. What I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to chuck a grenade over there, a couple of these, and move on because there is a freaking grad over there. I've located a route with relatively light security. I will mark the heading on your solid on radar. Someone there? Yeah, there's a freaking grad over there, and I don't want to deal with it. I will join you in Pakistan. I will find a way to exit the helicopter. Proceed out of the city. I will contact you when I am on the ground. Also, there's an opportunity to go back to a place where you were before. Oh shit, there's an ass over there. I thought it was a... I didn't think it was an ass, I thought it was something else. I thought it was a raptor. Get off. Enemy sighted. And like I said, I could leave. Hmm? Something behind, a couple troops behind me. What the hell? Why are you making this difficult game? I just want to get in there. Uh. 
Hi there. And believe it or not, there is a reason to go in here. Aside from there being an item boss, there's also this. Of course, going in here is not the best of ideas. Normally this room would have given me a lot of problems, but then again, I normally don't use EMP grenades, nor do I go into Ripper mode, I just try and fight them legitimately, which is not the best of idea. Did I expose your chest, buddy. Got it. You know what, it's fine. I don't care. I'm okay with it. Oh, I thought it was actually something worthwhile, but it's not. Now we can leave. That's probably one of the last opportunities we'll have to get VR missions and whatnot, so... Seems like it. You have passed the last of the barricades. Save your strength. Find a vehicle. Right. That should do nicely. Well, at least Raiden was nice enough to leave a phone number to contact by later, you know, so the person can get their bike back. That's good. But yeah, pretty short chapter. And the next one's going to be even shorter. So we're just going to go on ahead and move on with it. This episode will be slightly long, I think. Yes. Yeah. Alright, I have all of the life cells I can get. The one I really want, though, is another fuel cell. One more. Alright, I believe... It says life complete. I think that means I've bought all the life upgrades I can find. I can buy, but there are still some left to find. But that's gonna have to wait. Everything okay on your side? I am out of Colorado airspace and nothing on the radar. Good. I'm almost there. Having a little heart-to-heart? -heart? I have analyzed his words and actions. 
I am unable to ascertain his motivation. Ah, fancy meeting you here. You knew I'd come. I suppose I should thank you for not killing everyone at the launch site. <laughs> well, not if you say it like that. For a hired killer, you're not very good at your job. The war is the big payoff. Right. Big raises all around once World Marshal gets all those contracts. I'm not talking about money, Jack. I'm talking ideals. Excuse me? <sighs> Forget it. We've both heard enough speeches about higher causes by now. History will decide who's right. End of story. enough for killing you. Huh? Oh, good. <laughs> Why, that's very good. Yes, I like that. Must you really fight? Don't interfere. This is between us. Here. Okay. Let's dance! Get ready! Get ready! Get ready! Get ready! 
cyborg enhancements was this outcome necessary evidence inconclusive I guess even AIs don't know everything it is likely no single correct answer exists additionally human conflict stems from opposing ideals and societal norms I was not programmed with these guidelines you're better off figuring those out for yourself. ID locked. A VT7 high frequency blade. The efficacy of the enhancement directly correlates to the quality of the original weapon. My file indicates Sam inherited the sword from his father. Going to bury it? I will retain it in memory of Sam. Roger that. 